Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a deal, man. Yeah, we can we can worry about that later. Okay, Bert. Uh, well, I'll, pro I'll probably get that dozer loaded up, and I'll probably see, uh, what, 45 minutes-ish, you think? It depends how long it takes me. It's freezing cold out. It'll take me a while to strap that thing down, but yeah, 45 minutes-ish. Okay, yeah, you too, Bert. I'll see you, man. So, I just got off the phone with Bert. Um, he's not at the... Okay, so, there's two equipment dealers in town there's one that's a bucks equipment dealer which is let me get this right otherwise buck will kill me i think it's i shouldn't say i think it's platte valley platte valley is buck's name i think i always say platteville or something <laughs> and buck gets really mad whenever i say like the wrong name i understand anyway so the next one is anyways it's just called county line farm supply is what it's called and i'm going to trade in our old cat d6 so that's what we're going to do now a couple people complain that i talk way too much and i never get anything done so i'm going to talk while we're getting stuff done today i'm going to really try to work on that through a lot of episodes especially when i'm by myself i tend to talk a lot when i'm by myself i i i i totally understand that so i'm going to fire up the ford l9000 which we already did i'm going to pull this out now a couple things i first of all let me shut this but i did not plan i guess i just I mean, an idiot and didn't plan for, I knew it was going to snow, but I just didn't think through to the second step of, hey, how am I going to plow that snow? So pretty much right now, the only thing we have is a 4020, which it doesn't work the best to plow snow. And then we also have the skid loader, which isn't the best to plow snow, mainly because you drive one foot and your bucket fills up and then you got to go dump it. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to get some use out of our new dozer we're about to buy. Because we're going to plow the driveway with the dozer. Now, a couple people are like, dude, that's so unrealistic, man. Why are you doing that? Well, it's pretty much the only thing that actually works good to plow the driveway for now. Without me buying something. Without me buying, like, a plow or something like that. Now, the question is, will, it get, will this Ford L9000... Holy crap, this needs a wash. It's got salt all over it, too. I was driving it this winter, but will it be able to pull a Cat D8? It's it's really pushing it. Honestly, the trailer's probably a little light for that, but we're going to do it anyways. It'd be real nice right now to have the driveway cleared off, especially when we're pulling around here with the <laughs> with the Ford. But for now, we got to do what we got to do. So, I'm going to pull... I'll probably pull up here and then drop it, drop the trailer, and we'll load the dozer on from there. Yo, have you guys ever seen, okay, have you guys ever seen the Canadian cold start? The Canadian, yeah, cold start, I guess you call it. I don't know if that's the exact name, but there's a YouTube video where I, I'm gonna, where a Canadian guy starts a fire underneath the dozer, literally starts a fire because his dozer's sitting out in like negative, I uh, just watched a video, like negative 28 degree cold weather. He starts a fire, I've, I think I've seen this video like five times, but he starts a fire on the dozer, he slowly heats kind of the engine, gets some heat up there, and then he turns over the dozer and it starts. It's like crazy cold outside. Obviously, the risk he runs into is that fire catches on his dozer, his whole dozer blows up. Maybe he dies if he's under there. I don't know what happens, but it is insane watching that video. I'll try to link it up in the description. Just search like Canadian dozer cold start or something. It is, it's crazy. You gotta, you gotta watch it. We got the dozer fired up. Now I'm gonna pull over here and load it up. Now the, now some of you guys might be like, well, why don't you just plow the snow with this dozer, dude? Come on, you idiot. Well, this dozer blade doesn't work to plow snow as of right now. And I don't know, see, this is a wide track dozer. So I don't know if this is gonna fit on the trailer even. That's one thing I didn't even think about, but hopefully I can pull it up on the trailer and hopefully it will be good. Now this new dozer we're getting guys, oh my gosh, she is a beauty. Well, I'll show you guys. Perfect. She's up there, <laughs> dude. Okay, Cat D6 for a semi, it, I feel like that's definitely doable, but a Cat D8, I think you need, I should probably have a triple axle back here. It should, I should probably have a bigger semi, but we're gonna try to do it. We're gonna try to like slowly inch our way home. We're spinning just a little bit. Oh, there we go, we're making it through. Okay, and we're pretty much, we're kind of heading down downhill a little bit, so we should be fine. Luckily, the county got up this morning and all the roads are cleared, so we should be good, besides the driveway, that's the only thing. Okay, we'll take a right-hand turn. Once we get on the county road, once we get on the county road, we'll be fine. And yes, the Razor still is for sale. If any of you guys want it, just let me know. This is right where accidents happen. You're heading downhill, you can't control it, and then you hit some ice slash snow, and then boom. We're sliding off the road, but we gotta be careful. Some of it's starting to drift over a little bit. Oh, there's old Bob, the oh, Bob. You know, as far as money and finances go with the dozer, a lot of you guys are gonna be asking about it. How much did it cost me? Why are you doing it, squad? Your Cat D6 is fine. One reason, farm sim reason, this dozer is fabulous. This new dozer we're getting is fabulous. Oh yeah, just ignore that for now. <laughs> uh, yeah, some some dude just went off road, that's it. During the snowstorm last night. Anyways, um, two, the, uh, Two, we're doing an opera. I'm gonna start doing a lot more construction projects for just different people around the server. So, 
having a good dozer is going to be key especially having a cat d8 and one that i love will just just be fantastic so those are two reasons three money and finances it's going to cost me a lot more money we haven't gotten to those details exactly about how much this dozer actually costs take a left hand turn here there she is boys <laughs> oh yeah this thing oh my gosh this thing is just an absolute beast let me show you guys especially this ripper like i i just i honestly just want to just shove that ripper in the ground and just start plowing up my fields just just for fun like that just oh my gosh dude it's just like it's just it's so it's so eye-pleasing i just want to just drop that i don't know I don't know how to describe it. Okay, we'll leave the truck running. That way it doesn't... That way we don't have any problems starting it up again. But here she is. Ah, you know what? We, let's let off the D6 before we even show you that. So I have no idea where Bert even wants this D6. For now, I'm just going to pull it over here. And then we'll load that D8 up. It's like discipline, man. Discipline. Like, I, I just want to drop that ripper down and just rip up this cement through the lot. Like, I'm not mad. I just... It's just like, oh. Come on, man, let's do it already. But we're gonna have to wait till spring before we really get started on it. I mean, isn't this called like a frost ripper or something? I think I think that's what it's pretty much called. Uh, but here she is, Cat D8T. Um, and this thing is great. The great, I think the coolest thing about it is probably the tracks. The tracks have the a really good animation. You see this. You see these tracks that, that seem a little loose? They'll actually move. I, I just got to show you. I, I, I need to stop talking. Well, let's see if she'll fire up, though. It is pretty darn cold. What, 16 degrees? Holy crap. I have to start a Canadian fire underneath here. Or Canadian, do a Canadian cold start, not a Canadian fire. So I got her started, and she's just warming up right now. And then I'll load this on uh, the trailer. Now, I should have probably pulled the trailer closer, so that way we're not tearing up the cement too much. But... It's probably fine. Dude, this is going to be so... Like, if this is an overkill plow in snow, then what is overkill, dude? Shout out to Surf Duck Modding for making this mod because this is just fabulous as I go over this. So, like, as we raise this up, look at it. The joysticks move as I go in reverse. Or, okay, the pedals move. And I don't even know how to operate a dozer. But if I go left or right, then that joystick moves left and right, which is just neat. Now, check this out. Look at those track animations, dude. That is insane. That is crazy. That is crazy. Because if, ah, man, I think some dozers, uh, nothing wrong with that dozer at all, but it didn't have track animations like this at all. This is fabulous. I'm just going to back this on the trailer. Now, this is God. I got to be overweight. At least we have the oversized load sign. But man, I, this is, this has got to be illegal. Oh, gosh. There we go. I mean, I don't even know where to situate this on here. I'm just gonna, For now, I'm just going to put it down here. This is insane. Perfect. There we go. Now, we just got to haul her back. Question of the day. What would win in tug of war? Cat D8T. Okay, we're on gravel. So, let's say we're on gravel. Cat D8T or... Hmm. Or Cat D8T or three Case IH quad track tractors? I, I think that's just a stupid question. I think, I, I honestly, when I think about that, probably the Cat D8, but I have no idea. Somebody in the industry that runs some, something like this or runs a quad track would probably have a better idea. That'd be interesting to see though. Hey, but you know what? We could do that in farm, uh, we couldn't do it in farm sim because this doesn't have a hitch on the back, but that'd be sweet if somebody just made a hitch and we could try that out in farm sim. Yeah, you know, my F-250 could probably pull this, I'd say. Okay, well, we're pulling her, but we're gonna keep this at low speeds. I'm just gonna keep it slow. <laughs> we're gonna go slow. Yeah, let's keep it at low speeds. That car's probably gonna rear end me. Well, she's pulling. That's all I can say right now. You know, one thing I didn't think about is this gonna fit in the same shed, the same open face shed that I had the other dozer in. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> we made it. There we go. Okay, we made it here with the Cat D8. And what I'm going to do is probably pull... I'm probably going to pull into this... There's grass here. You guys can't see the grass. But I'm going to kind of pull in this grass. And then I think this is going to be a perfect spot to unload it. And then I'm just going to go full force into pushing snow. It's not going to push snow the best, but it'll do. It's de Is it overkill? Heck yes, it's overkill. It'll be fun, though. I'm pumped. Well, here we go. We'll give her a try. Well, we're pushing, boys. Holy crap. Now, one thing is it's... <laughs> this isn't going to work the best as a plow. And I've plowed with this a little bit just to test it out. And it 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 does great. But once you start getting up to like 71% or, point or point, point 0.3 tons, it starts kind of letting some snow uh, get under, which is fine. It's totally fine. I think for now, I'm just going to pile all the snow pretty much right here. Just make a giant pile right here. 
So it's gonna take a lot of pushing, which should probably be a time lapse. And it would be cool if you could angle the dozer blade, but obviously their cat doesn't make this to be, you know, snow plowing Walmarts, you know? What? Man, this sure is fun. Now, a quick little side note. I, I seem to get this question a lot on DMs. Okay, I want everybody to know. Just, just farm sim. And some of you guys might be like, oh, this is a really stupid question. Why are you even saying this? Everybody knows this answer. Not everybody does. All of these mods that I'm using, like the crazy mods, the trucks, the semis, uh, this cat dozer, mainly you can only get for P... I'm going to just put it out there. You can only get for PC, okay? You can only get these for PC because, like, the really good mods you can only get for PC. There are a couple of, like... A couple John Deere mods that eventually make it to Xbox and PS4. But other than that, you need a PC and you need a fairly good PC uh, to play with these mods. Just want to make that clear because I get that DM all the time. People not waste their money, but they get the version. They get the PS4 or Xbox version thinking they'll get these mods. And then they're really mad when they're like, oh shoot, I can't get these mods. So I just want to make that clear. Now my plowing technique is not the best here. Like I said, it's a little tougher with the does here. You kind of just got to... It's tough. It's gonna dribble off the sides, of course, because I can't angle the V, uh, the blade to like you know plow in. But we're doing the best we can. I can already see the roast in the comment section. Just like squad needs squad needs something to plow snow with. Hmm. What's better, a four hundred thousand dollar dozer or a two thousand dollar snow plow? Yeah. Let's go with a four hundred thousand dollar dozer. So right now we have this pile that's just it's in the driveway and it's completely just messed up. So what I'm gonna do? Drop the blade down. Push this up kind of into a pile. Try not to cover up the power washer too much over here. Uh, and then get it out of the way. But for right now, we need something better to plow with. I, I feel like I'm always just complaining about what we're plowing with when I got this $400,000 Cat D8, dude. Uh, but I just need a, a, a snow plow for my truck is what I realized we kind of need. But it's still fun messing around with this thing, you gotta admit. It would also be pretty neat to have a snow blower. That wouldn't be bad too. Now in real life, this Cat D8 would just plow right through the snow, obviously. Uh, but it's it's tough to get crazy realistic. So for now, we're kind of just driving up a snow pile. Drop her down and keep going. It's kind of a tedious job, but it's fun. <laughs> you know what? We should send the skidoo off this, dude. Oh my gosh. I guess I don't have much running room. Yeah, we don't have much running room, but that'd be sick. That's a perfect jump. Go jump the building. Cool on set. Go try going over this. <laughs> Here we go. Holy crap, dude. This has got to be the thumbnail. Okay, we're gonna see what happens going on. Now, I know I'm a little unrealistic, guys. And first of all, this would be sinking through the snow, probably. But, see what happens. Holy crap. Look at my foot in there, too. <laughs> okay, okay. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. There we go. Hey, that wasn't too bad. The ripper doesn't work right now because the soil's frozen. Just like I can't do any tillage because the soil's frozen. Even though that's what this ripper, I think, is made for. So, I'm gonna try to clear this stuff. This white stuff in front of the buildings here. And then from there, I don't think we're going to do too much more just because it, it takes a long time with this dozer. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. I could run this all day. But it does take a long time. Check out the lighting kit on this thing too. Boom. Boom. There we go. She's pushing all right. Oh, shoot. See, once it gets full. Oh, gosh. And <laughs> this is kind of why it takes forever because we just keep dropping stuff behind no matter how low you have that blade. We are badly in need of a snowblower. This would actually be perfect. Come on. Come on, old girl. Or new girl. There we go. Back her up. Okay, for now, I'm going to put the cat away. We're struggling a little bit over there. So what I'm going to do is pull out the bobcat and see if we can't move some of that snow with the bobcat. Now, the bobcat, you move one foot and boom, you got a full bucket load. So it's going to take us a little while, but it should scoop it up a little better. The question is, will this cat dozer fit in here i think it will hopefully it will it does okay but does a blade fit yeah oh shoot okay there we go we're good it fits it fits we're all good perfect so the cat worked well uh it's freezing cold out too and actually i put the mac i put i cleaned off the mac with uh, with all the salt on it i cleaned it off and put it away already uh so this is clean in here but i did that on the part of the video that uh i accidentally didn't record but here's the bobcat man i'm gonna get this thing stuck it's fun using it though it is it feel, the bucket fills up so darn quick check this out and it it honestly seems to act better when i'm plowing snow rather than when i'm uh rather than when i'm just driving it normal on normal ground it's weird when i say act better i mean it it drives better here we go okay one thing i didn't notice know about skid loaders is when you're plowing snow having wheeled especially when you're plowing snow on like cement and things like that and, and you know uh in ground like that i guess 
having wheeled a wheeled skid loader is actually way better than having tracks. I always figured, man, you know what? Those track skid loaders are unstoppable probably plowing snow. That'd be so fun to operate them. But I guess it's not that fun to operate a track skid loader when you're pushing snow with it. Um, I guess they just don't do good at all. The wheeled skid loaders just do a ton better when you're pushing snow. So that's why you'll see a lot of people that run skid loaders for snow removal business have wheeled skid loaders. I did not know that. This is working pretty good. Besides our bucket fills up pretty quick. We need a snow bucket. There we go. Dump right there. And then we'll slow, we're slowly working our way to get this cleared. Now this garage door may not be oper, it may not be, uh, we can probably fit equipment out of it, I guess. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be moving too bad. Seems to be doing a fairly good job. This kind of works better than the dozer actually, except, well, at least when you're in tight spots. Well, <laughs> there we go. We got most of it cleared around here. I gotta tilt this bucket up. Now, we got a lot of snow piled there. It'd be nice to take the dozer and just push that snow bank back, but it, it just, it's, it's farm sim again. It's kind of tough. There we go. We got her cleared. At least this majority. Now, like I said, I kind of need to plow for some of this, especially getting these like long parts around here. Uh, but other than that, it was fun. It was a fun day plowing snow. Now, I, I got to say, not every video can be like a crazy role play, like Dukes of Hazard, like uh, just, you know, hitting gears, passing, passing things. And, uh, and you know, just crazy stuff like that. We can't do that stuff every video. So every once in a while, it'll, unfortunately, it'll just be me in the video. But seriously, guys, thanks for watching. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Hey, have a great day. Thanks, guys.